Mahasar from Iskon Mayapur. He has come here to give us his divine association. He was actually a student of philosophy from uh, Jadavpur University. And he joined Iskon in Albert Road, Kolkata in the month of uh, April in 1986 when he was only 25 years old. From that, that time he is serving very enthusiastically in Bhakti Vedanta Book Trust, BBT, as a writer, as a proofreader, and one editor. Uh, he took one year training in Iskon Chuhu, Mumbai, in Bhakti Vedanta Institute, that does scientific preaching, and he is doing this scientific preaching for quite a long time. He completed his PhD in exploring the personali personalistic information of God from Vidyasagar University. He had been serving as temple president in Tripura and as a principal in different English medium schools, managed under the auspices of ISKCON. In Mayapur, he had been serving in BBT as one of the member of editorial board and chairman of MCS for Indian Community. As MAC member, Mayapur Authority Council member, and finally as the principal of Bhaktivedanta National School. He is a dedicated preacher. He is always presenting spiritual topics in very logical, scientific, which is his expertise, and easily understandable manner for the audience. So we are very much glad that Prabhu is here with us. And uh, it's a unique opportunity for all of us to know so many things from him. Uh, being such highly qualified, he can deliver us the message in very simple and very understandable manner. So I would like to request Prabhu to start with the topic today, which I requested him, Yoga for Modern Age. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Namam Vishnu Padayo, Krishna Prasthayo, Bhutale, Simati Bhakti Vedanta, Shaminiti Namine, Namaste Sarasati Devi, Gauravani Prachayi, Nirbhishesha Shanyavadi, Pashtatya Hare Krishna, so I would like to welcome all of you. You are associated with which, what is the name of this group? Iskon Yat Puram. So I am very happy to meet you because Speaking to the youth is always a great pleasure. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so uh, many times, I mean, youths from Gohati, they visit Mayapur, they visit Mayapur, and sometimes they invited me to speak there in Mayapur. I don't know some of you are there or not in my speech. <laughs> Maybe I spoke on Prabhupada Pranam Mantra. <laughs> okay, so today Prabhuji requested me to speak on uh, yoga for the for this age, yoga for this age of quarrel. This age is not good, you know. <laughs> is this good age? <laughs> we can understand. Manda, Shamanda, Matayu, Manda, Bhagga, Hi, Pantrata. People are always disturbed by many things. Manda means they are very slow, slow in good things, but very fast in bad things. <laughs> Manda, Shamanda, Matayu, their intelligence is very low. Sumanda Matayo, very narrow minded, mean minded. People are mean minded. Uh, then Manda, Sumanda Matayo, Manda Bhakta. And above all, there is, uh, you know, they are misfortunate, unfortunate. You understand? There are so many troubles like tsunami, earthquake, you know, then corona. So many troubles are there. You understand? Then economic problem, this problem, that problem. <laughs> This age is age of problem actually. You understand? Kali Yuga. Age of quarrel. Age of problem. Age of, you know, it is called Iron Age. Other age are called Golden Age, Silver Age, you know, but this is called Iron Age. <clears throat> so, in this age, you know, in other ages, religion and religious system was different. Uh, there is a verse in Srimad Bhagavatam. Kritejat Dhayatu Vishnum Tratayam Jajatu Mukhai Dapuri Purichat Jayam Kalautad Harikirtanath Anyone knows this verse? Hmm? Anyone can recite? Kritejat Dhayatu Vishnum Tratayam Jajatu Mukhai Dapuri Purichat Jayam Kalautad Harikirtanath Okay, I will explain. But do you know these four ages, four jugas? 
সত্য ত্রেতা দাপর করি ইট ইজ নট নোন টু ইভেন মডার্ন হিস্টোরিয়ান্স অর সায়েন্টিস্ট ইফ ইউ আস্ক এনি মডার্ন সায়েন্টিস্ট হোয়াট ইজ সত্য যুগ দে ক্যান নট সে দে হ্যাভ অনলি ওয়ান ওয়ান ইউ নো ওয়ান লেন্থ অফ টাইম বাট ইন আওয়ার বেদিক স্ক্রিপচার্স টাইম ইজ ডিভাইডেড ইন টু ফোর যুগস সত্য ত্রেতা দাপর করি do you know the duration of kali yuga yeah then multiply 132 years by 2 it becomes dapar multiply multiply 132 years by 3 it becomes treta multiply 432 years by 4 it becomes satya yuga so this satya treta dapar kali this is moving like cyclic order just like clock you know ডার then it becomes one manantar you understand one manu takes birth another manu dies again like this you know when they move the cyclic order when they are moving for 71 times then again another manu takes birth and the previous manu dies so it is beyond our imagination the duration of uh, brahma's day night kalpa and bhagavad gita there is a very very nice verse uh, <coughs> সহস্রজুগর্যন্তম অহর্যা ব্রহ্মণ বিধু রাত্রিং যুগ সহস্রান্তম তে হরাত্র বিধু জন কৃষ্ণ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইন স্টাইল অফ ইজ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইজ ভেরি মুসিড ভেরি ইজ ভেরি নাইস তে হরাত্র বিধু জন দে নো হোয়াট ইজ ডে এন্ড হোয়াট ইজ নাইট দ্যাট মিন্স উই ডোন্ট নো হোয়াট ইজ ডে এন্ড হোয়াট ইজ নাইট ওয়ান টাইম আই থিং স্পুটনিক অর এ রকেট ওয়াজ মুভিং অ্যারাউন্ড দ্য গ্লোব অ্যারাউন্ড ইজ আর্থ প্ল্যানেট and within 24 hours it moved four times within 24 hours that sputnik or rocket whatever it may be it moved around the globe around the, this earth planet how many times four times so some passengers are there they experienced i think four uh, two nights and two days there or four nights or four days. how many you can can you calculate how many nights and days it was four days in total it would be two days and two nights two days and two nights so they experienced two days and two nights but for us for us it is one day and one night because 24 hours means 12 hours day and 12 hours night for us it is two one day and one night within 24 hours but those passengers in the rocket they experienced four days and ah sorry two days and two nights so how is it possible they are not liar they are telling us we saw two nights and we we experienced two days so they are not liar so how is it possible simultaneously we experience one day and one night we can fight we can quarrel no it is one day and one night but they will quarrel no it is two days and two nights so what does it mean time is relative time is relative is it not and that is actually that is a theory of relativity by einstein for which he got nobel prize as far as i know so he also said same thing he said if you go to other planet days and night are completely different duration of days and nights is completely different just like 15 days we experience shukla pakha and 15 days krishna pakha if you go to other planet there are 15 days one day and 15 days one night then six months we experience uttarayan and six months we experience dakshina dakshinayan you know that uttarayan dakshinayan if you go to upper planet six months is day and six months is night so in this way day and night and if you go to brahmanuka and millions of years makes his day and millions of years makes his night so it is really relative so the yoga cycle satta treta dapar koli সত্য যুগ কৃতি যোদ্ধায়ত বিষ্ণু ইন সত্য যুগ পিপল ইউজ টু মেডিটেট বিকজ দেয়ার ব্রেইন পাওয়ার ওয়াজ এক্সেলেন্ট অ্যান্ড দে আর এভরিথিং ওয়াজ ভেরি গুড অ্যাট দ্য টাইম অ্যাটমসফেয়ার সিচুয়েশন ক্লাইমেট 
duration of life. Do you know duration of life of people in Sapta Jagat? One lakh years. Who will believe? If you tell any scientist, they will not believe. You understand? But those who believe in, in the authority of Shastra, they believe. One lakh years, duration of life in Sapta Jagat. Now drop one zero. From one lakh, drop one zero. Then 10,000 years. It is duration of life in the Dapuri, you know, in Krata Jagat. Then drop another zero. Drop another zero. Then 1,000. This is the duration of life in Dapura Jagat. Drop another zero. 100 years. 100 years also people do not live nowadays. It is reducing and reducing and reducing. Yeah. So then drop another zero. 10 years. At the end of Kali Yuga, at the end of Kali Yuga, people will live maximum 10 years, 12 years. Understand? So in this way, duration of life is reduced. Prayanal payusha sabha kalavasmin yugijana manda samanda matayo manda bhagyahi upadrata. So in this way, in this age of quarrel, people are prayanal payusha, people are short-lived. Their lifespan is very short. Prayanal payusha, ayu means in a duration of life, is very small. Prayanal payusha sabha kalavasmin yugijana, those who are civilized people of Kali Yuga, they live a very short life. They are manda and they are very slow. slow. Slow to understand good things and very fast to understand bad things. If you give little hints about some bad things, they will understand me immediately. Yes, yes, I, I know. <laughs> but if you tell, if you explain for 10 months something good, they will not understand. This is the symptom of Kali Yoga according to Shastra. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> According to Shastra, Manda, Shavanda, Bhatta, they are unlucky, unlucky people. Manda, Bhagya, Upadrata, and always disturbed by terrorism, this, that, war, so many things, you know. So, this is the condition of Kali Yuga. Even in Dapura Yuga, what Arjuna denied, you know, Krishna said, you control your mind, you meditate and you become a yogi, you know, Arjuna said, it is not possible for me to control my mind. At that time, there was no mobile, there was no internet, there was no so-called film, cinema, nothing was there. And nowadays, every second you can, within your pocket, you can find all the arrangement of Maya. You can find within your pocket, you know, through mobile. It is open secret. Anybody can get spoiled in a second. You understand? But in, in when Arjuna was with Krishna at that time, at the end of Dapura Yuga, the atmosphere was far, was far better. There was no cinema, there was no internet, there was no... I mean, there was no scope of getting polluted. People are living in... Maximum people are... Majority people are living in villages, And modern pollution was not there. You understand? So at that time, Arjuna denied to meditate. Arjuna said, Chanchalang hi manaha krishna pramathi malavadhidham tashyahang nigrahang manne bayurivo sudhushkaram Just like it is difficult to control storm or wind, breeze. Breeze? Okay. But storm, it is very difficult to control. Hmm. Similarly, it is very <coughs> difficult to control mind. And everybody has got this bitter experience. Even sadhus, they also get this bitter experience. It is very difficult to control mind. Who can deny this? Those who are telling, hmm, those who are telling, I can control my mind very easily, you must know he is liar. <laughs> you understand? <clears throat> One time Prabhu, somebody said to Prabhupada, that I am not disturbed by all these, you know, sex desire, this, that, I am not disturbed. Prabhupada said, immediately go to doctor. <laughs> Have you heard this story? Yes. He immediately go to doctor, <laughs> Prabhupada said. Because getting disturbed is not disqualification. You will get disturbed in Kali Yuga. It is not disqualification. Disqu disqualification is that when you welcome those disturbances and you never protest, you are not serious about those disturbances. That is disqualification. But getting disturbed is not disqualification. It is, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> it is written in different scriptures. That this will come. The disturbance will come. Maya is very sincere as of Krishna. Her duty she will do. She is very sincere, you know, to disturb you. That is, that is the duty Krishna has given to her. 
you disturb them so that their seriousness will come out you know if they are serious then they will overcome your disturbance but if they are not serious they will be overwhelmed and controlled by this disturbance so getting disturbed you don't get discouraged or disheartened that oh maya is disturbing so maya will disturb it is our duty but we should not surrender unto her disturbance you understand we, then there should be proper guideline proper method so when arjuna said chanchalang hi manah krishna my dear my dear krishna my mind is very restless chanchalang hi manah krishna pramathi very strong balavat balavat also strong balavat dridham and very determined whatever he will decide he will do you understand even wrong thing if he decides i will do it will do balavat dridham tishaham nigraham manne vayu divas dushkaram so i feel that to control mind is as difficult as controlling wind or strong uh, storm storm can, anybody can stop storm when storm comes nobody can stop so uh, to control mind is such a difficult thing but after hearing arjuna's comment krishna did not say that what a rascal you are huh? you are my friend and you are so elevated aryo huh? and you are telling like this krishna did not say like this what krishna replied anybody knows ashankshan undoubtedly you are correct so krishna knows our weakness <laughs> undoubtedly you are correct ashankshan mahabahu mahabahu means you are very heroic person but still for a heroic person like you it is correct ashankshan there is no doubt ashankshan mahabahu mono durnigraham chalam it is very restless chalam means restless and durnigraham means difficult to control अशंशयंग महाबाहु मोनो दुर्निग्रहं चलम बट अभाषणो तु तु मीन बट अभाषणो तु कंतय वैराग्येन च गृच्छते सो टू थिंग्स कैन हेल्प यू टू कंट्रोल योर माइंड वन इज प्रैक्टिस ऑफ भाष एंड अनदर इज रिनंसिएशन ऑफ भाषण करें नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कम्स व्हाट ऑफ भाष व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सो दैट विल कम प्रैक्टिस डिफरेंट इन इन डिफरेंट योग डिफरेंट प्रैक्टिस सत्य जग प्रैक्टिस वाज मेडिटेशन मेडिटेशन पीपल दे दे आर मच मोर सोवर एटमोस्फेयर वाज बेटर यू नो सो दे दे यूज टू डू मेडिटेशन दे यूज टू मेडिटेट ऑन विष्णु कृते जाय तो विष्णु त्रतायाम जजत मखई एंड इन त्रता जग दे यूज टू परफॉर्म फायर सेक्रीफाइस फायर सेक्रीफाइस नॉट लाइक नाउ दे हैड दैट टाइम द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ghee was so so much and abundant and uh, quality of ghee was nice brahmins were very much qualified so they used to do fire sacrifice you understand and when you read mahabharata you become surprised is it story or fact uh, when drupad raja did fire sacrifice from fire draupadi came out people say you know these people are fanatics they think that some person can take birth from fire Two person took birth from fire. Drishta Dumna and Drupadi. Yeah. So these things are so much denied and rejected by modern people that in school and colleges they never accept it as scientific fact. It is only by Prabhupada's mercy that we believe. You understand that people are so much expert in chanting mantra and performing fire sacrifice. They could produce uh, Drupadi from fire. You understand. So that was, of course, this is done in uh, Dapura Yoga. But in Treta Yoga, people are much more expert in doing all these things. Krite jab thaya tum Vishnu, Treta yam jaja tum mukhi. Dapuri puri chacha. In Dapuri Yoga, they used to do uh, deity worship mainly. You know. Of course, we are also doing deity worship. We are doing fire sacrifice, but these things are minimized. We do fire sacrifice, but that is not our main religion. We do deity worship, but that is not our main religion. ब्रह्मास one of the sons pippalat so he came to his father brahma and he asked my dear father what will be the, what will be the religion in kali yuga yuga dharma and who will be the incarnation in kali yuga so then brahma said my dear son 
I cannot reply like this. You do one thing, you fast for three days. Three days fasting, no eating. After three days you come to me. After fasting for three days you come to me. Then people have obeyed Brahma's order. He fasted for three days. Then again he came to Brahma and he asked Brahma, my dear father, please tell me what is the Juga Dharma in Kali Yuga. So then Brahma said uh, <coughs> that, uh, first he said about incarnation. Uh, uh, Kali Yugi Janavi Toti Maya Puri Guru Akha Bhagavan Bhakti Loki Kaishati. Brahma said to his son, Kali Yugi, in the age of Kali, in Mayapur, in Navadip. You see, so clear. Uh, Gaurav Akha Bhagavan, uh, Lord will be named as Gaurav, Gauranga Gaurav, Bhakti Miloke Kashyati. He will preach Bhakti cult in the world. And mantra, then people have asked, what will be the mantra? Brahma said, there are three Bija mantra, Hare, Krishna, Rama. There will be three Bija mantra. So in this way, so many things people have asked, and Brahma one by one replied all these things, which clarifies that in Kali Yuga chanting, of Hare Krishna mantra will be the Juga Dharma. So it is written in different scriptures. In Kali Shantran Upanishad, uh, what is that verse? Uh, Iti Shurasaka Nam Nam Kali Kalmasa Nasanam Nata Paratara Payo Sarva Vedeshu Drishyate. In Kali Yuga, the 16th syllable name of God, and it is also mentioned Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama, 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 Rama. So, everything is mentioned very clearly. In some scripture it is written Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna first. In some other scripture it is written Hare Rama, Hare Rama first. Uh, actually, it is also Krishna's tricks. Uh, when Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started preaching this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, then some, you know, caste Brahman, by birth Brahmin, they are objecting. This is only for the Brahmin, this is not for the Sudras. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, okay, it is written Hare Rama, Hare Rama first. So he changed it. First he put Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. Now Shudra can chant, you know. <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I change, I change the mantra, so Shudra can chant. Ultimately it is the same, you know, you chanting Krishna's name. So anyway, it was changed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And also I heard that in some other Purana it is written like this. You understand, in some other Purana Krishna's name is first, in some Purana Rama's name is fast, but it doesn't matter for us. Prabhupada used to say, if you take a uh, bag of sugar, you eat from top or you eat, eat from bottom, the taste is same. If you take a bag of sugar, you know, where, from wherever you taste, the taste is same. So, holy name, rather if you chant Krishna's name fast, <coughs> that is one benefit. Because three names of Rama, uh, whatever benefit you get by chanting three names of Rama, you get by chanting one name of Krishna. So suppose you chanted Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, and then you got a heart attack and you died. So you got maximum benefit, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? <coughs> so whatever Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has done, we accepted him as authority. We accept him as authority. Now one of our Maharaj, he went for operation, you know. Then doctor, you know, what is called uh, anesthetic doctor. I mean, they make you unconscious. So doctor came with an injection and told that now I'll put this injection and you'll become unconscious for three days and we'll cut your stomach and all this. So he said, but let me chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> so he started, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. And immediately the doctor put injection. He could not chant Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Hare. He could not chant. He just became unconscious. After three days, he woke up. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. The doctor got surprised. Ah, Atmanivedan Swami. doctor got surprised. He, when he took the injection, that, that anesthesia, he was chanting half of the mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Then he remained unconscious for three days. After three days, when he woke up from when his consciousness came back, he chanted Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. That means uh, there is a verse in Bhagavad Gita. 
स्वल्पमपेशमस्त्रायते महत्वपा नहा विक्रम नाश अस्ति प्रत्यवाय न विद्यते स्वल्पमपेशमस्त्रायते महत्वपा इवन इफ यू परफॉर्म लिटिल डिवोशनल सर्विस इट इट बिकम्स योर परमानेंट एसेट दैट मींस नाउ यू चांटेड ओनली हरे कृष्णा नॉट द फुल मंत्र इवन आफ्टर मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स यू विल गेट द यू नो बेनिफिट ऑफ चांटिंग दिस वन टाइम हरे कृष्णा So Maharaj proved it by chanting after three days. If it can continue for three days, it can continue for three millions of years. According to Shastra, it is never lost. Whatever little performance you are doing in devotional life, it is never lost. So anyway, so now the question, next question is, why chanting is preferred by God or prescribed by God for this age? That is because of many reasons. Because other things are not practical in this age. Uh, meditation is not possible. If you want to meditate, I have one day I visited Brahma Kumari. Have you heard? <laughs> so they told me I just wanted to see what they're doing, you know. So they they told me to sit. So there are many VIPs coming, you know, and they sat like this, you know. <laughs> Then there was one lady sitting in the manch, sit, sitting on the stairs, and the lady told, "Look at me." <laughs> so they looked at her, and. You know, meditate on zero. You know, meditate on something. <laughs> so they were what zero? They are like meditating on that lady. You know, <laughs> zero, zero was not there. And zero is not possible to meditate. So in modern age, meditation is impractical. <laughs> you understand? In modern age, meditation is I don't mind. Sometimes I joke. So in modern age, meditation is not practical because mind is restless. How you can meditate? Mind is restless. You have practical experience. Then meditation. Then next is fire sacrifice. Where is that money to purchase pure ghee? Pure ghee is not available. I a few months before I purchased some ghee. When I smelled, I I, I felt vomiting. <laughs> so how can you perform fire sacrifice in these days? Not possible. And neither you will find qualified Brahmin. You will find qualified Brahmin. No. So that is also impractical. The next is. Uh, Deity worship, deity worship. Even today, I have seen husband wife quarrelling. Hey, today you worship the deity, <laughs> uh, and wife is telling today you worship the deity. Uh, the Prabhupada used to say it is not bigraha, it is galagraha. <laughs> you know, galagraha is the Sanskrit word. Galagraha means burden, burden. Bigraha means you love. With love, you are worshiping deity. But when you say you worship today, I cannot. I am feeling little uh, fatigued. Ah, uh, that means it has become. Galagraha. So deity worship is also not so practical in these days of fatigueness. You know, we are feeling fatigue. You understand? We are not. Uh, we are not full of stamina like in other ages. So deity worship is kept, but minimized. You understand? Not like before. You know, in previous ages, deity worship was done very gorgeously. <coughs> but chanting Hare Krishna. I give one example, practical example. One day, Prabhupada was giving class, I think, in America. So, so there are hundreds of people listening to Prabhupada's class with attention. At that time, one drunkard entered, you know. <laughs> Then, when Prabhupada was speaking, he was speaking for one minute. Immediately, Shami, <coughs> Shami, <laughs> from the back side, you know, <laughs> from the from the back side, you know. So, Shami Ji was disturbed. Naturally, you know, he is giving class with so much Prabhupada. He used to give class with so much attention. So he was uh, again and again within five minutes again. Shami, Shami, I have a question. I have a question. <laughs> you understand? So Shami Ji was very. Ah, Shami Ji means at that time they used to call him Shami Ji, not Prabhupada in the beginning. So he was very much disturbed. <coughs> so then Prabhupada said, one of his disciple, Prabhupada said, give me one kartal. Give me one kartal. <laughs> so he took kartal and Prabhupada said his disciples and followers. That you all of you take kartal and mizanga. So they all took kartal and mizanga. You understand? And Prabhupada started very strong, heavy kirtan. You know? Understand? And kirtan was so what is called tumultuous, so loud. Then within five minutes, you know, the the hall was filled with nice kirtan, dancing. And that drunkard, he called two three times, Shami Ji, Shami Ji. Nobody heard him. You understand? <laughs> This is practical. The Harinam is practical even in the midst of the disturbance of drunkards. You understand? Jagai Madhai, they are drunkards, but some or other they they were converted. Um, I mean, they were purified by hearing the holy name. 
and from this example of Srila Prabhupada's Kirtan, he understood here class will be impractical because although 99% people are sober, but one person is drunkard. That one drunkard person polluted the whole atmosphere. Understand? So Prabhupada understood. Now I have to start. Class is also okay, but now I have to start Jagadharma, which can be performed under any disturbances. Ah. So when he started Sankirtan, then that drunkard, he had to surrender, you know. Then sometimes it happens, even drunkard starts to dance. You understand? Even when Prabhupada first started Sankirtan in Tomskin Square Park, those who are, you know, that video is still available, many of them are drunkards. And looks like they are dancing with Estas. Yes, Estas was there because Prabhupada was pure devotee, but still at that time some of them are drunkards. You understand? So that means these uh, holy name, chanting of holy name can be done even among the drunkards. And Prabhupada never said, Prabhupada said, okay, if you take initiation, you have to give up drinking wine. You have to follow four regulatory principles. But he never said that if you are drinking wine, you cannot chant Hare Krishna. He never said. Or if you are breaking all these rules, you cannot chant Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna can be chanted under any circumstances. One day Prabhupada arrived in airport and many devotees were dancing and chanting to welcome Prabhupada. You understand? Then one devotee, he was playing kartal, you know, like this. You understand? And one kartal cut his, <laughs> kartal cut his forehead. He got, you know, a severe cut. Yeah. But he could not understand. He could not understand. So then he was singing, dancing like a madman. Then Prabhupada came to temple. Somebody told, hey, blood is oozing from your forehead. How? How? He's telling, how? How? I don't know. Some cut is there. You know, you cut your skin here. How? Then he saw a little blood, you know, on the kartal. Oh, maybe when I was playing kartal, then maybe kartal touched my forehead. So then why he did not understand? Because... Ecstasy. So Harinam has got so much ecstasy. Prabhupada said, when I chant, within one second I drown in ecstasy. That is Prabhupada, of course. He takes the bead bag and start chanting, closing his eyes, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Prabhupada says, within one second, not only he, he said, you also, Within one second, you will drown in ecstasy. Although we don't experience this, many of we don't experience, but this was Prabhupada's expectation, this was Prabhupada's standard. That when he chant, if you don't drown in ecstasy within one second, that means your Harinam is not perfect. You understand? That is the standard of Harinam. That very soon, okay, forget one second, at least in one minute, at least in 15 minutes, you should be absorbed in the ecstasy of Harinam. In my personal life, I can tell, okay, chanting in beat, okay, it keeps me little happy. But when there is Shankirtan, dancing, I can challenge, I can guarantee anybody, any disturbed person, when he comes to participate in Shankirtan, when there is, a, there is an expert Midanga player, expert Kartal player, you understand, he cannot stop dancing, I am sure. When I first joined in ISKCON in Alberta, TC Alberta, uh, because I, I was a fresh comer, you know, so when I saw they are dancing like anything, like madmen, I was a little distant, you know, I was just uh, watching what they are doing, you know. I could not, because I was not habituated in dancing, you understand. So, first day, I saw very nice dancing, very nice kirtan, but I was a little far, you know. I mean, I was standing with them, I was singing Hare Krishna, but I was a little afraid to dance. This is my personal life story. It is in Albert Road. Albert Road. Then there was one devotee, Mahamadushudan. He was very excellent kartal player. Man, his, his kartal will speak. You understand? So nicely he, his hand, I think God gifted talent, you know. He was playing kartal so beautifully. Still today I don't find such, I mean it is rare to find such type of kartal player. And the Midanga player was also very good and the singer was very good. So they started Guru Puja, Prabhupada Guru Puja. 
and suddenly I don't know. It is not within my. I mean, it it was not desired by me or somehow or other I started dancing, and you know the hair stand stood on my body. You know, so then there was little ecstasy. I re I realized yes. So that was automatic. So that's why I believe uh, that yes, even if you are disqualified, even if you are you know. I mean, mind is disturbed or you have some bad habit. Let us start this chanting and dancing together, you know. Then automatically, very quickly, very quickly, uh, in Shatta Jika, they used to take 60,000 years to meditate, you understand. But in Kali Jika, it is not, not like this. Prabhupada said one second. Some, someone asked Prabhupada, how long will it take to understand God or to uh, reach God? You remember the Prabhupada answer? There is a video. Yes. Huh? One second. That is also with so much conviction in his face. One minute, Prabhupada, he, you know, made his eyes very big and very with very I mean, strong conviction. He replied, "One minute." So it is fact. Holy name is so strong; it can give you the highest result within the shortest time. In one second, it can give the highest result if we are sincere. So that's why it is decided by God, not by us. Ah, that in Kali Yuga, the best religious system is chanting holy name. So let us follow sincerely. Of course, if you follow four regulative, regulative principles, you can start chanting Hare Krishna even without following four regulative principles. Those who are not following four regulative principles, they can chant. There is nothing to stop chanting. But if you follow four regulative principles, you will get the real bliss real ananda from chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra and real benefit. The progress will be like rocket. You understand? If you follow strictly, Prabhupada says strictly, this word Prabhupada used to use many times, you strictly follow for regulatory principle. Actually, the secret is that the more strict you are, the easier it becomes. If you are very strict, then it becomes easy. If you lose, it becomes difficult. You understand? Just like the example is, you take one match, you know, matches and go near petrol pump or, you know, petrol, uh, um, I mean, a pot with petrol, then with little fire, you just lit the fire, what will happen? Yeah. But if you are thousand miles away from that petrol, then Krishna says, Durena hi avaram karma buddhi jagadhananya, Durena, you remain far away. Far away, if you go near it, it will be, be, become difficult. Maya is so strong, it will become difficult if you are near, if you are loose, if you are not sincere. But if you are sincere, it is easy. You understand? Sincere means you are not near the petrol. You are far away from petrol. You understand? So if you are very sincere to follow these four regulative principles, Prabhupada said many times, strictly, strictly, then you will get the real pleasure in chanting. Otherwise, it will remain a question for whole life. Why chanting is not so effective? Chanting will be effective when you follow four regulative principles. Of course, chanting is effective always, but at the same time, to get quality result, in Chaitanya Charitamrita there is a verse, Bahu Janma Kare Jodi Sravana Kirtan Dabhutana Pai Krishna Pade Prema Dhan If you chant for many lifetimes, you will not achieve love of Godhead in many lifetimes. Why? Because when you are negligent, Ah, it is said that these four regulative principles are not devotion, not devotion, but it is field. It is field, just like, uh, say, Vashmati rice, you know, Vashmati rice. Then you take a nice field, nice field. You cultivate <coughs> with cow dung or with, you know, so many things. You prepare the field. Then you put Vashmati rice. Then Vashmati rice will grow nicely. So the field is not Vashmati rice. Field is field. Basmati rice is different. Similarly, Bhakti Beej. Bhakti Beej you receive from Guru as Hare Krishna Mahamantra, that is Bhakti. But for regulative principle is the field where that Bhakti plant will grow. You understand? So, field, if field is like desert, if field is like desert, is Bhakti Beej, the seed of devotion may not grow. Bahujanma Korajadi Sabana Kirtan Tabutana Pai Krishna Pada Pramadan. So that's why. Uh, avoiding all ten, all kinds of offenses, ten offenses are there while chanting Hare Krishna. You know all these offenses. 
Uh, offenses are like throwing water in fire. If you want to lit fire, if you throw water, fire will work or not? If you throw water on fire, fire will not work. Similarly, if you chant also and commit offense also, offenses also, it will not, it will work very slowly. So better to follow for regulatory principles. This is only in ISKCON who, I mean, which declares this very openly, very clearly. There is nothing hide and seek. Uh, I mean, there is nothing secret. Everything is declared very clearly. And this is because of, you know, this system, ISKCON is flourishing and ISKCON is becoming successful. Recently, our Kadamba Kanan Maharaj left his body and he, before 12 days, leaving his body, he delivered his last speech. And he also said the same thing, that strictly follow these four regulatory principles and chant Hare Krishna very sincerely. Then you will really achieve very wonderful thing beyond your expectation, beyond your imagination. And that is Yuga Dharma, uh, and this Harinam Sankirtan chanting side by side, following four regulative principles. This is very minimum tapasya. It is not very tapasya like in Satya Yuga or Tata Yuga. They were performing real tapasya. But in Kali Yuga, very tapasya is minimized. Uh, and you, if you perform, you know, Harinam Sankirtan and chanting 16 rounds and if possible more, and follow four regulative principles very sincerely. I am sure personally, now I have been in ISKCON for uh, more than 36 years. I joined in 1986. Now it is uh, 2023. 30, uh, how many years? 86, 86 to nine, uh, 2023. 36 years, I think. Eh? 36 years plus. Isn't it? So, my experience is that, yes, if you are serious, you will get something. If you are not serious, you will not get so any question or comment? <laughs> Prabhu asked me to speak on Yuga Dharma. I was not so prepared. But whatever Krishna inspired me, I spoke. If you have any question, you can ask. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, Prabhuji, uh, even when uh, we try to remain sincere, hmm. sometimes like we chant daily, read books, hear lectures, then also sometimes we, we feel low and we stop in, some in between and again the bad habit comes. Like, how to avoid this? Actually, to speak frankly, recently I was reading one lecture by Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada said, it is your drawback. You cannot blame Krishna, you cannot blame Holy, holy Name. It is you. When we are uh, not really sincere, we misuse our individuality. When we are not sincere, we misuse our individuality. And while chanting, better to avoid uh, reading books or sometimes you read books and chant. That is not very good practice for us. You understand? So when you chant, you just, I mean, hear the sound. Uh, and, you know, chanting in the morning is very good. Chanting in the afternoon is not very quality chanting. Chant in the morning and uh, at least Prabhupada, I, I saw that you are challenging. If you are, if you are not misusing your individuality. If you are not misusing your individuality, your chanting will be nice. So that means when our chanting is not nice, some or other, we are misusing our freedom. We are misusing our individuality. We forget that how much power Krishna has given us. But Krishna knows. That's why Krishna becomes angry, upset, when he sees that he is misusing his power. Ah, sometimes we deceive ourselves, thinking that I am very weak, I cannot chant, you know. I am deceiving myself, but I do not know my power, but Krishna knows my power. So that's why Krishna becomes upset. Krishna knows, I know your power, you can do so much, but you are not doing. You are misusing your power. That's why Krishna becomes upset. So then, I mean, maintaining the same tune with Krishna, if I become also upset, why I am misusing my power? You understand? That will improve your chanting very soon. But when you blame on circumstances, oh, my circumstances is not good, my family is not good, you know, this is not good, that is not good, that means you are transferring your responsibility to others, you understand? You are denying your responsibility, which Krishna doesn't like. So you don't deny your responsibility. If you keep full at focus, focus on your responsibility, attention on your responsibility, then you will be able to develop your chanting. Understand? Okay, any other question? 
प्लीज आस्क यंग स्टूडेंट मीन्स मोर क्वेश्चन ओके प्लीज सो मीन्स वन वीक अगो आई बॉट अगल किशोर एट माई होम सो वॉट यू बॉट युगल किशोर मूर्ति वॉट मूर्ति राधा कृष्ण मूर्ति ओ अच्छा राधा कृष्ण मूर्ति है इफ यू फॉलो फुल इस्कॉन रूटीन यू नो फुल इस्कॉन शेड्यूल देन या वी डू तुलसी पूजा यू सी आवर टेम्पल प्रोग्राम इन द इवनिंग फर्स्ट तुलसी पूजा नो इन द इवनिंग फर्स्ट तुलसी पूजा देन गौर आरती यू नो यू फॉलो आवर इस्कॉन स्टैंडर्ड इन द मॉर्निंग तुलसी पूजा इज लास्ट या इन द मॉर्निंग तुलसी पूजा इज लास्ट आफ्टर मंगल आरती आफ्टर मंगल आरती निशिंग पूजा देन तुलसी पूजा इन इन द मॉर्निंग एंड इन इवनिंग तुलसी पूजा इज फास्ट इट इज यू फॉलो अवर इस्कॉन यू नो यू कैन सी इन एवरी इस्कॉन टेम्पल वॉट दे आर डूइंग दैट यू फॉलो बट इट इज डिफिकल्ट एट होम इन टेम्पल इट इज इजियर बट इन होम एट होम यू आर एलोन मे बी आई डोट नो हाउ मेनी असिस्टेंट यू हैव Even Prabhupada, when he went to America, first one year he was not doing uh, all these things in details. Uh, when he had many disciples, he started this program. You understand? So, deity worship means that's why it is not the main religion of Kali Yuga. Main religion you can do alone anywhere in the jungle also. You understand? What is the criteria for like anyone can can keep deity and the market is available? So many deity. Yeah, but uh, you see, those who are not initiated, those who are not pure, keeping a picture is allowed. Keeping a picture of Radha Krishna is allowed. But for us, uh, those who are not qualified, it is better to keep Gauri Nitai. Ah, uh, or even if you keep Krishna, you keep uh, baby Krishna, baby Krishna, baby. They don't mind. You understand? Even if you forget, forget. <laughs> even if you forget, <laughs> yeah, just fact. Even if you forget to give him some flower, he may not mind. But adult Krishna may mind. Uh, he is not giving me flower. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> But if you are Brahmin initiated, then you are really qualified. If you are real Brahmin, following all the rules and regulations strictly, then you are really qualified to perform deity worship. Do I believe you? You have your own Gauri Nitai. I have Gauri Nitai. In my house. You you promised me like last time when I went that you would show me next time when I come. I forgot. Yeah, you know, I meet so many people every day, <laughs> so I forgot. Sorry. No, yeah, you come. You can come yourself with your own enthusiasm. You can come and see. <laughs> do do one needs permission from spiritual master to keep deities? For Personally. for everything, if you get permission from spiritual master, it is good for everything, not only for deity. For everything, if you get permission. But generally, in Iskon, Guru is sometimes busy. We take permission from Guru's representative. Guru has secretary. Guru has you know senior disciples. So they are also like representative of Guru. So you can consult with them. But if you are lucky enough to meet your Guru, take direct permission from your Guru. That is best. You understand? Otherwise, Guru's representatives, you can take permission from Guru's repre representative, like temple president, you know, like this. That is also as good as taking permission from Guru. You understand? Any other? <laughs> if, if someone is not into this practice, for yeah. example, Kali, and is into other traditions, so like in family and members, they say no. That you, if you do this, you will attract the wrath of the gods, or you know, it's not good. Mm -hmm. so how does one transition uh, without having such kind of doubts in their mind from a certain kalpa to yeah three things three things are there sadhu guru shastra sadhu guru shastra what shastra says you have to see what shastra says what guru says and what the saintly people say you understand uh, prabhu said there are many uh, shopkeepers they are calling you come 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 i have my you know <laughs> very good master oil you know they say very good ghee please come to my shop you know sometimes they say like this no but the customer has to be very clever <coughs> he knows in this shop they are keeping all <coughs> expired goods you know expired <laughs> <laughs> so he will not visit he will not visit that shop 
in some shop they keep nice things, not expired, fresh, but they are charging double. He will not go there. He will find out a store, if I are, uh, nothing is expired and everything is in good condition and they also charge, uh, you know, I mean, uh, genuine charge, you know. So then you can select that store. Similarly, in spiritual life, uh, this Baba will call you, that Baba will call you, you understand. But you are a customer, you have to be a very intelligent customer. So you study ISKCON, you study this mission, that mission. But as a customer, I have to, I selected ISKCON as a customer. I still believe that I am a good customer. <coughs> Otherwise, why I selected ISKCON? You understand? Have you got the answer? <laughs> so in Assam, maybe he is speaking about in Assam, mm. people have this, uh, their own belief on Krishna. Mm. Uh, some, there are some cults who believe that Krishna is formless mm. and they worship only the Bhagavat. In yeah, so as a, as a shopke, I, I mean, I, as an agent of ISKCON shop, I can tell you that you say, yesterday I gave a lecture, it is published in YouTube, that people say Krishna is formless. The word less, L E W S less, what does it mean? What less means? It is uh, full or incomplete? If I say you are beautyless, formless, brainless, intelligentless, <laughs> is it full or incomplete? And we say Purnamadaha, Purnamidam, Purnat Purnamadhi, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnamaya Abhashishita. God is Purna. And God is Purna, he is intelligent class, beauty less, form less, less, less. <laughs> then he becomes a lesser God. He becomes a lesser God. God should be more than more, more than more, more than more. So how can you say God is formless? Isn't it? And we say Anantarupam. Anantarupam means, the word Anantarupam means, he has unlimited forms. And you are telling less, less, less. We don't believe in lesser God. Is it clear? So, you see, as an agent of ISKCON, what I am telling, is it logical or illogical? You think deeply. Prabhupada used to say, uh, Krishna has created so many universes, planets, everything has form, but this poor, girl, poor God has no form. <laughs> this is Prabhupada's language. Krishna has created so many unlimited planets, universes, the sun, the moon. They have forms. They have forms. <coughs> but this poor creator has no form. Is it logical? Is it logical? Who created unlimited forms, he himself doesn't have form. Then he becomes lesser than his creation. You understand? From the surface, from the surface you may think, oh, for God is formless, so nice concept. But if you think deeply, if you think how you God can be less, God should not be less than anything. At least God should not be less than His creation. I am His creation, I have a form. You are His creation, you have a form. And God created so many forms, unlimited forms, and He doesn't have form. He's so poor. You understand? So God has form, but His form is not, not limited like my form. When Krishna danced with the gopis, millions and trillions of pro uh, today in one lecture I heard, Krishna was dancing with crores of gopis and Krishna himself became crores of Krishna. So it doesn't mean that Krishna has seven feet height form or six feet height form. It is not like that. Krishna, when he danced with gopis, there are millions of gopis, crores of gopis and Krishna became crores of Krishna. So it is not limited within seven feet. You understand? Even this art planet is form of Krishna's energy. So, how he can be formless? Only thing is that he has better form. That we believe. And even the inferior forms are his energy. His energy. Nothing is beyond him or outside his circle. You understand? <coughs> so, you judge yourself. Okay, any other question? Continue. Question. As long as you are asking question, I am here. And Prabhu will control the time. And sir, what about uh, our pursuing wealth, acquiring of wealth? What, uh, what is the take of? Yes, so this wealth, wealth, money, 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 sweeter than honey. But people know only good quality, of, good qualification of money. But do you know the bad qualifications of money? 
in bhagavatam i think in one verse it is written money has 15 bad qualifications money has got 15 bad qualifications so i i did not learn this 15 but i learned three qualification disqualification of money ha ah, three disqualification of money first disqualification is ahankar ahankar means ego ego from face itself will understand he is money <laughs> you look at the face <laughs> is it not you look at the face and you can understand this man has money from face how can you understand because in his face there is ego you understand those who are money money man they have so much ego which is face is the index of mind you understand so money i mean will create ego ego means you don't care what is seen what is right what is wrong you don't i have money you know uh, so you don't care for you know right way of life hmm. money makes you egoistic you don't like to listen to sadhus you don't like to read any scripture because i have money this is called ego you know so ahankar druha means enmity if you have money your relatives will become your enemy your friend will become your enemy sometimes your bodyguard will kill you understand so money makes uh, creates enemy ahankar druha matra vishayate ache adhapa then you will fall down if you have money then you will all the time feel some itching sensation oh, today i can purchase some 3x you understand <laughs> today i can purchase some this wine that wine i can go to this hotel one cup of tea is 10000 or 5000 rupees you know there are some hotel like this you know one cup of tea if you take out such the same tea maybe better tea at your home with maybe maximum of course we don't take tea but suppose you make tea with uh, maximum maximum 100 rupees impossible impossible you understand but there are some hotel they will charge you 5000 rupees for one cup of tea and those who are money man they go there they want everything special you understand and they drink wine they you know enjoy it they prostitutes and so many things are there if you have money so if you have money you will fall down so these three disqualifications are there money is required just to maintain your body and soul together and you don't become mad after money you maximize your time for spiritual practice minimize your time for money earning money you understand <clears throat> and my whole life i never struggled to earn money you understand whole life yeah, nowadays i don't don't earn any money practically speaking life is running everywhere i am getting food everywhere i am getting prasadam life is running in this con even i served as principal or you know teacher in you know, all these things i did but this <coughs> con you know they all, all the time pay very small very small you know so called salary <laughs> you understand but well, life passed you know some or other but if we want to earn money work and work and work and work you know our time duty then your spiritual life will be killed you understand To, to save your spiritual life you need money okay <coughs> prabhu said if you are married maximum 8 hours you are in money not more than that <coughs> and people nowadays they do over time in america i heard whole night they are working to earn money people are very rich but not happy <coughs> i met so many rich people i have seen i have seen their life they are earning money day and night but they don't have time to even to see to his children they don't have time for sightseeing or these or that or visiting temple they don't have time you understand so what is the use of money ah. practically speaking it is a punishment ah. one man died in pune he was counting money and he died <laughs> <laughs> he had heart attack you know? uh, and people are telling he must have gone to heaven because he is counting money <laughs> but according to shastra most probably he will become snake in some in some you know box i have to keep money you know <laughs> you know they he will become snake uh, so what is the what is the use of i i see many businessmen morning he sits in the cash counter uh, in the noon time maybe he get 5 minutes to eat and again he is sitting because otherwise he cannot depend on the managers and depend on the other people because other people will steal money 
So sometimes he sits, sometimes his wife sits. You understand? So kneel down, Prabhupada used to say kneel down. He is kneel down with cash box. So kneel down is punishment or reward? So you are punished. <laughs> is it not? You are punished too, as I do, for sitting with kneel down. In student life we have seen, kneel down. You understand? It is a punishment. And so many things actually, they are punishment but we think reward. Ah, just, just like in a rich house, big house, ah, the house owner is all the time, you know, maintaining the house, keeping it neat and clean. So one governor, of, I think governor of Madras or somewhere, he said, you are a security guard in your own house. Actually, like this, you know, he's all the time looking if some thief is coming, if some attack is coming, you know. So you have become a security guard in your house. But, but Maya is so expert, Maya is telling me you are the owner. Recently I am from Shilang, very near. I saw rich people, they are carrying dog, dog is passing stool and he is waiting near, you know, and he is also getting the smell. <laughs> you understand? So, he is master of the dog or servant of the dog? But Maya, Maya makes him think that he is master of the dog. So, Maya is like this. Under all circumstances, we will think the opposite. You understand? I, am, I, I, I kneel down to count money and I will think I am rich. Uh, although he cannot enjoy his money. You understand? I will become security guard of my own house, I will think I am owner of the house, I am master of the house. You understand? But actually, under all circumstances, you are controlled by Maya. You, you can re become real master when you serve God. You understand? <coughs> Any other question? Hmm. I am chanting Om Namah Shivaya instead of Hare Krishna. What is the difference? Yeah, I am chanting Coca Cola, Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference? <laughs> tell me, what is the difference? This difference is there. Uh, tell, tell me the difference. Tell the sense. Huh? It doesn't make any sense. So, Om Namah Shivaya, Shiva has 55 percentage of Godhead. Krishna has 64, no, not percentage, Krishna has 64 quality, Narayan has 60 quality, Ramchandra 60 quality, Narayan, Vishnu, they got, they got 60 quality, and Shiva got 55, Brahma got 50, we got 50. Do you know that? Huh? So better to chant uh, the name of that God which has 64 qualities, and, uh, I mean, you get three times more benefit. Lord Shiva himself is chanting the name of Rama. If you chant three times the name of Rama, you get one, uh, one time, I mean, if you chant one time Krishna, you get the result of chanting three times Rama. And Lord Shiva is chanting Ram, name of Rama. He's, he's devotee of Ramachandra, or his devotee of Sankarsana, who is called Rama. You understand? So Lord Shiva is also chanting the name of Rama and Rama has 60 quality and Lord Shiva is the devotee of that Rama. Rama is also the devotee of Shiva. Rama, actually sometimes Krishna is, Krishna is washing Narad Muni's feet. Krishna is <coughs> washing Narad Muni's feet. Sometimes Krishna is washing Sudama Vipra's feet. It is not the proof that Sudama Vipra is God. Krishna himself washed Sudama Vipra's feet. Does it mean that Sudama Vipra is God? Huh? Similar, similarly, Ramchandra worshipped Shiva doesn't prove that Shiva has become God. Shastra says he has 55 quality. And if Shiva is God, why he is enamored by Mohini avatar? You know that story? And he was also uh, bewildered, uh, I mean, he was also in a trouble with uh, Brikashara. You know that story? Vashmasura. Yeah, previously his name was Brikasura. Later on his name became, when he got promotion, then he became Vashmasura. Uh, okay, there are many intricacies. But Lord Shiva, I mean, there was a devotee called Brikasura. He was chanting, Om Namo Shivaya, Om Namo Shivaya. Then Shiva came and asked, What do you want? So give me a blessing so that. Uh, if I touch on anybody's head, his, his body will burn into ashes. So then Lord Shiva, he is Ashutosha, okay, I give you. Uh, so, Brikasura planned to marry Parvati, you know. <laughs> Who is Parvati? 
Shiva's wife. He got blessing from Shiva and he's planning, now I want to marry his wife. Shiva's wife. Then what should I do? I should, I should make, I should touch Shiva's head. So Shiva will burn, he will die, Parvati will become widow, I can approach. <laughs> very, very plan, I mean, very simple plan, you know. <laughs> so, so he, he called Shiva, come, come. <laughs> Shiva said, why? Come, come, just come. <laughs> why? I want to touch my ha hand on your head. And Shiva started running with Kishore, you know. <laughs> Huri Baba, you worry. He started. Oh, Shiva is uh, much more powerful than he was, but why would he uh, not defeat Bhasma Sura then? Why would he run? Because he cannot deny his promise. He cannot deny his promise. If I give you a benediction, blessing, I cannot withdraw it. But he, Even, could, huh? he, but he could have killed Bhasma Sura right then and there, Shiva, with, his, with other means. It's not that. Simple. But to prove that, you know, Shiva did a mistake, these are all pastimes like drama, you know. To prove that I did a mistake. He wanted to glorify Narayana. Yeah. yeah, this is the main plan, you know. So then he was running and running and running. I heard two stories like this. One story is that, that uh, Krishna came as Bhamana, small-figured boy, and Krishna asked, you know, of course Shiva approached Krishna, please save me, please save my life. This is the problem, you know, I wanted to, you know, I gave some blessing to Bhaspasara. Then he is troubling me. Then Bhamandev said, okay, don't worry. So with a very nice face, a very lovely child, he was standing on the way, and Bhaspasara came, have you seen Shiva running this way? Oh, Shiva is a very mad man, he's a very mad man, you know. Why you are telling him mad man? Oh, he gives so many blessings, so many benedictions, nothing <coughs> works, nothing works. <laughs> then, oh, he, he gave me benediction like this. And because uh, the demons, they are, they are cheater, they believe in cheating very quickly. <laughs> yes, he cheated me. Now, you see, you touch your head, nothing, <laughs> nothing will happen. So he touched his own head and he was destroyed. This is one story I heard. Another story I heard, it is written in different scriptures, maybe this incident took place in different kalpa. So then one beautiful Mohini Murti, beautiful lady, came in front of this Bhaspasura. Then Bhaspasura saw, okay, I am planning to marry Parvati, but this lady is much more beautiful than Parvati. Then forget Parvati. <laughs> you understand? So, so then, yes, I want to marry you. Right? Direct approach, you know. Then Mohinimurti told, I also like you, you know. <laughs> you are so handsome, so you know. Ah, you like me? Yes, yes. But I have one condition. Any condition you put, I agree. So one condition is that I am, I am a very much, I am very much fond of dancing. Do you know how to dance? <coughs> No, no, I will, I will learn it. I don't know how to dance, you know, but I will learn it. When you learn, I don't know. No, you teach me. If you are a dancer, you teach me. Okay, so she started. Third is called Tere Kata or something. <laughs> so he's also this Vashvashura. <laughs> Vashvashura is also doing like this. Tere Kata, Tere Kata. Ah, ding, ding, ta, 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 ta. So she started hitting on her. <laughs> Hitting her on, on her own head, you know. <laughs> then Vashmasura, Vashmasura also. Ta, ta, ta. Because he was completely enamored by her beauty. You understand? So she, uh, when he started, uh, tossed his own head, he got burned. Is it clear? So there are so many histories of Lord Shiva. He, one, he was you know, defeated by Muhini Murti. He was running in front of the sages. The sages, those who are Shiva Bhakta, they are worshipping Shiva. And Krishna himself made him run in front of them. Because Krishna was, as a Mohini Murti, he was running in, before all the sages who are Shiva Bhakta, you know that. Who are devotee of Lord Shiva. And they saw our master is running behind a lady. You understand? So these are the pastimes written in the scripture, authorized scripture, which proves that Shiva is inferior to Krishna. And that is not Shiva's dishonor. Because to become servant of Krishna, to be controlled by Krishna is a glory. You understand? Because Krishna is God. Krishna is Bhagavan Shayam. 
will never find Shivastu Bhagavan Swayam. Uh, Shiva Puran is not our common book. If you go to court also, before witness, what book you have to touch, you know? Gita. As a Hindu, you have to touch Gita. Muslim, they touch Quran, and Christian, they touch Bible. They never touch Shiva Puran before court. You understand? So you have to think deeply. <laughs> this is not actually a question, but some comment. Mm. You can maybe elaborate. Sometimes people in general uh, think uh, ISKCON uh, followers are to be very much uh, uh, you know, uh, stubborn and they, they only like Krishna and they dislike others, especially Shiva and they have a lot of issues with that. And sometimes they become very offended with the, if you glorifying Krishna. So, um, uh, but uh, they don't know that how much deep respect we have Shiva. We have towards Shiva as a great Vaishnava, Vaishnava Nam Yathar Sambhudan, how Shiva is also worshipped in Panchatattva. Then uh, we, have, we are reading in Srimad Bhagavatam about Shiva's pastime, about his greatness. How he is a very great servant of Lord. So they don't know about this knowledge, but they have so many uh, issues with ISKCON and uh, is actually they are envy or maybe challenging mood. They don't want, they want to prove that we are uh, wrong or they want to bring discrimination. Okay. How to deal with this? There are so many different ways. You know? <laughs> One way is that, are you smoking ganja? Are you, <laughs> yes, I smoke. Please stop. Okay, you become devotee of Lord Shiva, but please stop smoking ganja. Ah, all these Naga Sadhus I have seen, they are expert in smoking ganja, you know. So, this is not spiritual life. You know, in the name of Shiva Prasada, <laughs> they smoke so much ganja, you know. So, okay, at least follow four, four regulative principles. Ah, I, have, I met so many devotees from other sect, you know, somebody's follower of this mission, that mission. I said, okay, you follow, but you follow four regulative principles. So when you will tell this, you will find out 90% or 99% Shiva Bhaktas are duplicate. You understand? They are addicted either to ganja or to wine, you know. Ravana was Shiva Bhakta, is it not? Hiranyakashi was Brahma, devotee of Brahma. Ah, Brikashura was devotee of Shiva. So all these Ashuras are actually followers of Shiva, you understand, in, in Shastra. So you first try to convince them that what is written in the Shastra. Even in Shiva Puran there is a verse, Aradhananam Sarvesham Vishnu Aradhanam Param Tashmat Puratara Devim Tadiyanam Samarchanam. So worshipping Vishnu and Krishna is called Adi Vishnu, <coughs> original Vishnu. Worshipping Vishnu is the highest. It is declaration of Lord Shiva. Uh, if you want to make comparative study, we have a lot of you know, materials to analyze, to discuss. But if they are unlucky, you cannot make them lucky so easily. <laughs> I have seen so many Shiva Bhaktas now, they have become iskanized. They are now, they say, by blessing of Lord Shiva, now I am Krishna's devotee. You understand? Even I myself. <laughs> <laughs> so comparative study is required. Even Lakshmi Devi, when she came out from Samudra Manthan, you know, Lakshmi Devi took birth from Samudra Mantan. So she wanted to select husband. Vishnu was not looking at her, you know that? Vishnu was looking other side. And other demigods are looking at her. She never, she had a garland on her, at her hand. She did not offer that garland to any demigods. She looked at Shiva and she saw snake. Uri Baba, Uri Baba. <laughs> when she saw snakes around Shiva's neck, she did not accept Shiva. You understand? Then he, she saw that Vishnu is looking other side, not at her. Uh, Vishnu was looking to other direction, you know. But still Lakshmi Devi went to Vishnu and offered that garland to Vishnu. You understand? So it is one of the proof that among <coughs> that association of different demigods, and the top demigod is Shiva, Devadi Dev Mahadev. He is the topmost demigods, you know. So uh, Lakshmi Devi <coughs> denied to offer her garland to Shiva. You understand? There are so many first times to prove that how Vishnu is the highest. You understand? And there is a story of Bhrigumuni who wanted to make an experience with God. First he went to Brahma and started quarreling with him. You understand? So Brahma was very angry and started quarrel, started to quarrel with uh, Bhrigu. Then he went to 
No, first he went to Brahma and did not offer respect. So Brahma became upset. Then he went to Shiva, then he started quarreling or something, you know. So then Shiva became very angry. Then he went to Vishnu and he kicked Vishnu on his chest. 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 But Vishnu told him, did you get any pain? <laughs> did I hurt you? So seeing this extraordinary behavior, then he decided, this is God. You understand? God means extraordinary behavior. Just like Nityananda Prabhu was hurt by Jaga and Madha, you know, on his forehead. But Jaga and Nityananda Prabhu was embracing them still, you know. So this is uncommon behavior. That is Vishnu behavior. You understand? <coughs> So there are so many pastimes which proves that Vishnu is the Supreme God, Krishna is the Bhagavan, Shayam. Krishna is the original Vishnu, Adi Narayan, Adi Vishnu. Is it clear? No, if they are unlucky, you cannot make them lucky. Any other question or comment? Uh, Prabhuji, we know that uh, Shiva is the uh, Supreme Vaishnava, Vaishnava Nam Yatha Sambhu. Mm. But uh, uh, how he got uh, charmed by Mohini then? That is a drama. That is a drama. Unless this drama was... The, even with this drama, people say Shiva is God. And without, without this drama, Shiva will become God. You understand? <laughs> so Krishna made this drama to make people understand that He is not God. It's not like, not like this. Hmm? Even Krishna worships Shiva, then even Vishnu respects Shiva. Shiva respects that Shiva. reciprocal Shiva. Rep respect, I have given example of Shodama Bipra. Krishna worshipped Sudama Vipra like God. He washed his feet, he offered him flower, so many things, you know. So that doesn't mean that Sudama Vipra is God. What is the difference between Shiva and worshipping? What is the difference? Then why Prabhuji Shiva so popular and why is he worshipped so much? Shiva is popular mainly, my study is that because of many concessions. Ganja concession, <coughs> this concession, that concession, you understand? Mm. <coughs> yeah. yeah, but if you study deeply, you can compare one story. But I have given you ten stories comparing Shiva and Vishnu. And he is the head of mode of ignorance also. Yeah, he is the mode of ignorance and Vishnu is the mode of, uh, in, in charge of mode of goodness. You understand? Why does he allow other worship? Other why I allow nursery class? I can allow PhD class directly. <laughs> Gradually. Okay, any other question? See, you have to use your own intelligence. Don't get biased. Uh, <coughs> you have to use your own intelligence. Because it is question of your benefit. Question of your benefit. Still, I will say, if you are, you are happy with Shiva, you be with Shiva. But you will be the loser. You understand? Pastors are modified by Daksha, who are the prayer, who are devotee of Krishna. So it might be like he has modified. He has modified and uh, modified. So many people will say so many things, but I have my individuality, I have my personality, I will judge. I too, I give the example of different stores. Everybody will tell my mustard oil is the best, but as a customer I have to judge. You understand? So many people will say so many things. Millions mouths, millions argument. You know? What is the, like we have the authenticity of Shastras telling that Krishna is Supreme Personality of Godhead. But what is the authenticity of your statement that Daksha has modified the Shastra? Where is that Shastra telling that Daksha has manipulated? Is there any Shastra or written authorized book? There is nothing. It's all uh, YouTube and I guess YouTube and Google are telling a lot of misinformation. Quora giving a lot of misinformation. People are manipulating and putting their mental thoughts. I don't know, but I have equal access to both of them. Mm -hmm. Though it be Krishna, though it be uh, Shiva. No, you are asking question. You are asking question. We understand this. You are, you know, okay, you so may. The way you describe Shiva. No, no, we are honoring Shiva. You don't know. Vaishnavas, they are most respectful to Shiva. They are the Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. So mm. we, we have equal respect for three of them. The, 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 the yeah, but still you must know who is the boss. Then why Brahma is, Brahma's temple is also, it does not exist only. Yeah, temple Brahma's is. temple doesn't exist practically. Because Shiva given shop. Yeah, so under any circumstances, he, he is not the, Brahma is not the supreme. Yes. If he is affected by, in car, by a cause, <coughs> how can he be supreme? You understand? Neither Brahma is supreme, nor Shiva is supreme, 
supreme is krishna that you have to understand and you have to study more you have to study more don't be biased ah what is uh, my benefit by denying shiva as god it is not that i am doing some partiality it is because i saw in shastra it is like this you understand Pardon? No, no, we don't respect disrespect anybody. But if you say Ram Babu is God, Sham Babu is God, ah, I respect Sham Babu, I respect Jadu Babu, but that doesn't mean I'll make him God. Giving extra honor is also dishonor. If I say Your Your Excellency, the Prime Minister of India, please come and sit here. Ah, so is it respect or disrespect? If I tell you, oh, give him a chair, he is president of India. Is it respect or disrespect? Sometimes, sometimes glorifying, giving some unnecessary extra glorification is a disrespect, is a dishonor. You understand? So you have to give right respect to right person. Understand? Yeah, these are called lila. Lila means drama, drama. Sometimes to, um, I mean, make some conclusion very clear and to establish some shastric conclusion. Krishna may, Krishna can do some drama. Ram Chandra did some drama. The drama is called lila to teach people. Sometimes God is also, you know, doing some lila. You know, so in lila we have to understand lila from authority from guru. What is the purport of this lila? What is the meaning of this lila? So we we cannot judge ourselves sometimes. We need help from expert gurus. You understand? Then what could be the like outcome of this lila? Like for example. So in that uh, war, who became defeated? Who no, became? It was uh, the result. The war never completed. Shiva came to Ramba, save uh, Bana Bana. Bana Shura. So should I save one Asura demon? That was the mistake. Why should I come to? You know, rescue a Osura like Ravana and Osura like Banasura. I think this happened in Assam. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Assam is famous for many Osuras. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Prag Jatishpur, Narakasura, also from Assam. You understand? <laughs> anyway, have to be little alert. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So then how, how actually one should see Lord Shiva? He is a very good devotee. He is very simple hearted. That's why he becomes, when some devotee asks him something wrong also, sometimes he sanctions. You understand? So you have to be very respectful to Lord Shiva. Uh, just like we are respectful to any good devotee. But Shiva is very famous devotee, is very good devotee. We must give him proper respect as devotee, but not as God. You understand? Mm. Uh, like uh, those people who eat, like uh, I have some friends, like those who eat chicken and come to temple, and next day they say one sahafrana chahiye. So, huh? like, they say, they say we have to clean our mind. Yeah, Ravana also would say like this. <laughs> I kidnap Sita, no problem, my mind is okay. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? No, no, I am not dikhawa. I am not doing dikhawa. I do illicit sex, no problem. But I don't do dikhawa. You know, I just I'm, my mind is very pure. <laughs> so you have, you have to learn karate, karate of words. You have to learn karate of words. You understand? <laughs> you have to learn karate of words. Prabhupad says, I know the karate of words, and actually Prabhupad knew how to do karate with words. Iskand devotees are very expert in karate of words because they learn from Prabhupada. Prabhupada was a karate master, you know, karate master of words. <laughs> and one scientist he got Nobel Prize on chance theory, you know, chance theory. Uh, the world is created by chance, and he got Nobel Prize. You know that? 
So Prabhupada said, you got Nobel Prize by chance. <laughs> you, are, you are not qualified. You are not qualified to get Nobel Prize. You understand? That is Prabhupada. This is Prabhupada. Can you enlighten something about this uh, fakeness of Big Bang and all this? <laughs> Big Bang. Okay, where from Big Bang thing? <coughs> where from Big Bang thing? Scientists say it's from an explosion. <laughs> but where from that came originally? Before Big Bang, what was there? Uh, the huh? Dust, where from the dust came? Who created the dust? Sky dust, but who created the sky dust? Who created the sky dust? Who created the... Then you, you rascal, why you are... What was there before What was there? God was there? Huh? Pardon? Never be proven that there was okay, they say there was dust, we say there was Krishna fish. <laughs> you say there was dust, we say there was Krishna. <coughs> his great general was supposed to say, you say there is a, there is a black hole, we say there was a black person. Is Illuminati real? Illuminati stars. No. What? They believe that they are Satan and they, they offered their life and then uh, when they will want, they will take our soul and they are creating... Satan worship. Satan worship. Devil worship. Devil worship. Devil worship. Devil can worship devil. So many mad people will do so many things, you know. Pagolikina, Bole, Chagolikina. You have to follow Prabhupada. Then your life is successful. In this century, we are very lucky to achieve guidelines from Prabhupada. You understand? This, in this century, we are very lucky. Any other question or comment? Prabhuji, as you said that yajna is now not possible, not practical nowadays. Mm. But we see that air pollution is increasing the day by day. Mm. So isn't it practical to do yajna? Because I have heard somewhere that yajna yeah, but you, you cannot spend so much money. Even for doing the smallest japga, how much money you need? Can you give me the estimation? Even for performing the smallest japga, 5,000. So how many times 5,000 you can spend? Okay, tell me how many, then I will collect money from you. <laughs> But for chanting, how many, <coughs> how much money you spend every day for chanting? <laughs> Maximum purchasing one beat bag and purchasing one beat. One time purchase. Yeah, one time purchase. And if you say, I don't have that money also, can chant in finger, you know. Finish. I don't have money to purchase kortal. Kor means hand. Tal means no, uh, rhythm. Koro tal. Koro means hand. So I don't have money to purchase kortal. Okay, but you chant on with hand. You understand? So it is the cheapest jagga. We, we don't say jagga is denied. We do rinam jagga. You understand? Okay. But Prabhuji, if someone has money, they can do it. Yeah, they are doing. We don't, we don't stop them. They are doing. But mantrata, tantrata, chidra, deshakalar ho bustuta, sarvankarati nishchidram, anushankirtanantava. You do fire sacrifice, iskan devotees will go in the beginning and end. Before fire sacrifice, there will be Harinam Sankirtan. After fire sacrifice, there will be Harinam Sankirtan. Let them do Jagga. We don't object. But let them allow us to do Kirtan in the beginning and at the end. You understand? Hare Krishna. But the, uh, the material in this uh, age of current, that, uh, everything is not pure. Yeah. So how can Yagna is possible? Yeah, pure? people have sentiment, you know. Even mantra chanters are not expert. You understand? A ah, few days back I gave a class. I was narrating a story that in, uh, in Kolkata, at the time of Mahalaya, you know Mahalaya? So one person, because there is no expert Brahmin, they come to do tarpan, you know, tarpan, offering oblation to forefathers. So one man came and he, he was not a, at all qualified. But to earn money, he came near the river Ganga, and so many people, they are looking for some priest. Can you, chant, can you do tarpan for my forefather? 
He said, yes, yes. So there is a mantra, Pitri Purusha Tripatam. Tripatam means let be, let all the forefathers be satisfied. So he was looking book. He did not learn any mantra. He was looking book, Pitri Purusha Chitpatam. And they are, they are offering a pleasure. Pitri Purusha Chitpatam. Chitpatam means, you know, Somersault, you know, dig budget. <laughs> so, instead of making Pritti Purusha happy, Tripatam is satisfied. He is making Pritti Purusha, you know, <laughs> doing somersault, you know. <laughs> so, this is the qualification of mantra, you know. In Kali Yuga, there is no perfect chanter, no perfect Brahmin. If you are not following rules and regulations for many, you know, hundreds of years, you are not qualified to perform jagga. Your mantra will not work. <coughs> Clear? Okay. Hare Krishna. Any other question? Oh, uh, you Prabhu guide me for controlling the time. And I have next class at 7. Eh? What is the time now? 6. 6. Okay. One hour gap. Okay. Tell so, me. Uh, as Prabhupada said, there is life in every planet. Mm. There is life in every planet. So, uh, I would want to know that the creatures in those planets, do they know Krishna as we know Krishna? Yeah, Krishna has six symptoms. You know six symptoms? Ashwari he is the richest. Samakrishi Birjasha, he is the strongest. Jashasha, he is famous in every planet. Understand? He is famous in every planet. Even in sun planet, even in moon, he is famous. You understand? Yeah, he has unlimited forms, but he is one. Amitabha Bachchan is one, but in different film he is different. Krishna is one. Krishna is one, but in different film, in some film Krishna is Ramachandra. In some film Krishna is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Krishna is one. Clear? Yeah. Same person, one person. Ekoham, Bhushyam. I am one, but I will become many. This statement by God in Vedas. Hmm. Any other comment, question? I am happy to meet you. So lovely and so, what is called, energetic youths. <laughs> you are the future of Iskon. Preach vigorously and make a whole, make whole, not only Asham, the whole world Krishna conscious. As the Subharana Yuga started, according to Shastra, Subharana Yuga started. Within next 10,000 years, all other religion will merge into Vaishnava religion. This is the prediction by Shastra and by our Parampara. Bhaktivinoda Thakur said, all other religion will merge into the ocean of Vaishnava religion like small rivulets. Like small river is merging into ocean, all other religion will merge into Vaishnava religion within these 10,000 years. And that we are seeing now. In front of our eyes, we see many, many hints how other religions are becoming weak. We can see the hints. So, can I stop here, Prabhuji? Yes, so uh, uh. We are chanting. Mm. There is a basic round we are chanting. Mm. But we, while chanting also, we are not hearing. Most of the time, we are not hearing. At mm. least the in my case, I can say. I am not hearing. So how how we can uh, like uh, be in a state ki we can chant the maximum time. Mm. Uh, we can we can hear that our own chanting maximum time. Yeah. Because most of the time when we discuss, people say uh, you chant and you try to hear. But yeah. uh, how to hear? How to be in a state to hear most of the time? Like 17, 20 times we are, we are taking the name, but maybe we are taking 200 times. I am hearing my own chanting. Yeah, the more you hear, the more you are benefited. Yeah. You know the story, one devotee came to Prabhupada and told, Prabhupada, when I am chanting, I see blue lights, red lights, yellow lights. <laughs> you know the story? Yeah. Prabhupada said, you chant and hear, hear nicely, all blue lights, red lights will disappear. <laughs> so, the more, we, the more you hear, the more you are benefited. Understand? Try as far as possible. Because he, even he asked Prabhupada when he met for the first time, 
जगधर्म की समवत वैष्णव भक्त वृंद की फ्यूचर ऑफ इस्कॉन योत की दुर्भिमान